so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Children's Creativity Museum in San Francisco, California. Oh, guess who snuck into my jam pack today? It's my dino pal, Dolores. Say hi, Dolores. Hello. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Dolores has dreams of becoming an amazing rock star. Yeah. Well, guess what? This is the perfect place because here at the museum, we can write our very own original rock song. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. That was such a good song. I just love did you hear that? <laughs> Everywhere I step, a note's being played. Wait, when I stand on the gray, I don't hear anything. It's the circles. Do you see all of these circles? <laughs> I've never played on anything like this before. Wow, oh, what if I only jumped on the yellow circles? All right, ready? <laughs> what if I only jumped on the green? <laughs> Dolores, do you want to try? Okay, um, which color? Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, orange. Ooh, that's a really high note. It's a little lower. Uh-oh, it's getting really soft. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> this is really fun. You can play an instrument with your feet. Wait, I have an idea. I could use my feet to play this instrument and I can use my hands. You're all zipped in, Dolores, nice and safe. Here we go. Whoa. I use my feet and I use my hands. I wonder what else we can use to make music. Come on, Dolores, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, this museum is really cool. And there's so many different ways that you can make music. There's different sounds and different instruments, like oh, this one over here. Have you ever seen this before? This is a microphone. Yeah, maybe you see a lot of singers holding a microphone and singing, yeah. That way everyone can hear them. Try it out, Dolores. Oh, Mika, I'm ready for my song. Dolores, you are ready. You go, girl. <laughs> oh, there's another instrument over here. <gasps> this is a synthesizer. Look at all these different buttons. And each one creates a different sound, a different instrument. There's beats. Wow, there's a lot you can do on a synthesizer. And check it out over here. It's a drum, one of my favorite instruments. Wow, what do you think, Dolores? Mm-hmm, you like it? Do you know how we can hear music? Sound waves enter our ear canal and then the sound vibrates our eardrum. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, let's see what this says. Start a new song by picking a backing track. Whoa, let's see, there's a triangle, a shakers, a drum kit, disco. Ooh, a bass line. What's the bass line? Let's listen. Ooh, I feel that groove. Okay, let's do the bass line, Dolores. So that will be our backtrack, and then we can record the drums on top of it. Now I have this really cool badge 
that will save all of our sounds for our song. Come on, Dolores, let's go to the next instrument. Acoustic guitar, okay. Hmm, okay, maybe, maybe. Electric guitar, that's gonna sound a little more rock and roll. Okay, let's see. I think that's the one. Okay, so we're gonna choose electric guitar. Gonna press record. We're gonna add electric guitar to our song. Three, two, one. Hear what we did before? Yeah, where's the drum? One of my favorites, the microphone. It's time to sing. Okay, Dolores, you can be here. Sing out. This is a robot voice. Hello, this is Nika. Beep bop boop. <laughs> Intercom. <gasps> Ooh. What about monster? <gasps> or this is the chipmunk voice. <laughs> What do you think, Dolores? You want to try it? Sure, I'll try it. <laughs> what if we record a song in a chipmunk voice? <laughs> Let's go. Dino stumps. This is Dolores, she's a dino. She's about to sing, and it's not about rhinos. Go, girl, sing it out. Roar, 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 roar. I'm a dino, roar, roar, roar. Wow, dino out. Roar, 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 roar. to mix our song. Here we are at the mixer. This is awesome because you can see all the different things that we recorded and here at the mixer, we can adjust the sound levels, make sure it sounds really good to complete our song. Okay, you can hear Dolores, right? Let's hear the song. Okay, what if I mute? The voice, the synthesizer, the backtrack, and then we can only hear the drum. Hear it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you count the beats like that and you put them together into a pattern, that makes a rhythm. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, how's that sound? Okay, so we're gonna save it. I can't believe that we made our very own song together. <laughs> Let's see what else we could do. Ready? Yeah! Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's a leg guitar. Oh, Dolores, look at this table. It looks like a craft table. There's a lot of craft supplies and recycled items. <gasps> This gives me a great idea to make a musical instrument. Yeah, you can make your very own instrument at home if you have craft supplies or recycled items like this. Hmm, let's see, there's some string, some wooden sticks, fabric. Ooh, a feather. <laughs> oh, I have a good idea. I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to make. Hello. Hello, testing, testing. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put this on this end of the box here. 
know what I'm making yet? You know what it is? It's a guitar! <laughs> Out of a tissue box and a paper tube and rubber bands. Yeah, dinosaur. Yeah, 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 they go raw. <laughs> what do you think? It was a really big guitar for you, Dolores. But it's kind of like a ukulele size for me. <laughs> Come on. See what else we can do here. This museum is so cool. Whoa! <laughs> That's a great sounding guitar. <gasps> Whoa! This is a great setup for a music video. Dolores, look at this. Check out the backdrop. It's a beautiful blue. <gasps> hey! That's one of my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> I bet you knew that. And ooh, look at this little setup. There's a keyboard and some drums and a really cool dance floor. This is a good spot for you to stand and sing and rock out, Dolores. Oh, and there's some more decorations over here. Looks like a tar and the letter M. That's the first letter in my name, Mika. Put that there, and whoop. And then there's a blue star, because you're a star, Dolores. You're a star. <laughs> Put that there. And oh my goodness, there's a guitar that's just your size, Dolores. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. I just need a camera. Here we go. Here's a camera. This way we can make a stop motion video. Do you know what stop motion is? It's when you take something, put it in a position, and you take its picture, and then you put it in another position, take a picture, and then put it in another position, take a picture, and you put it all together to make a moving picture. Here, for example, I'm about to run. Take my picture. Take another picture and then take another picture, and when you put it together, it would look like this. Isn't that cool? Okay, Dolores, are you ready to be a star in your music video? Oh, don't be nervous, you're gonna be great. You got this. Okay, start with you walking onto the stage with your guitar, looking good. Okay, let me see in the camera. Okay, a little more energy. Oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> okay, and then the next one can be a little bit more facing the audience. Okay, big smile rock star. Oh yeah, this is gonna be such a good music video. instrument. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I had so much fun making music with you today and coming up with our very own original song. And don't you think it's so cool how we can hear music and sounds and that sound waves come into our ears and vibrate our eardrums like this? Ooh. <laughs> it's really, really neat. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> good job. Hey, do you want to be in a band with us? They said yes. We better get to band practice. See you soon. <laughs> Who wants puppy kisses? You want some puppy kisses? Check out these 
cute puppies. Oh, this place is so cool. We're at Wallace Annenberg Pet Space. Yeah, and today we get to meet an adult puppy friend to get ready for adoption to go home with a forever family and be happy. <laughs> okay, these puppies are so fun, but we should keep looking. Come on. Hi, friends, over here. Whoa, an orange slide. <laughs> Only one thing to do. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This place is amazing! Puppies and slides! Woo! <laughs> oh, check it out! Excuse me up there! Have you seen a dog named Penny? What's that? <laughs> Do you do? <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> it's Penny! Okay, let's keep looking for Penny. This is what she looks like. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's have some fun. <laughs> Ooh, yummy! This hamster's having a little snack. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. Hi. <laughs> I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. I'm Lulu. Nice to meet you. Hey, Lulu. Who's this? This is Carla, our cockatiel. Oh, hello, Carla. <laughs> She's having a quick snack break before her shower. Mm. Yeah, would you like to help me give her a shower? Sure. Okay, Carla, you ready for bath time? <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, pump. Tweet, tweet, tweet. La, 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 I love to sing in the shower. Does that mean she's all clean? Yeah, so this helps her <laughs> feathers stay dust free. It also helps her nares, which are like her nose area, oh. stay nice and clear of all those little nasty germs. Would you like to meet some of our other critters? <gasps> I'd love to. Great. This friend has four legs, a hard shell, and walks very slow. Let's meet him. Okay, so this is our box turtle, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. We don't know how old he is, it's a mystery, but he's very <laughs> sweet and he kind of just runs the whole show here in Critter Corner. Um, he loves fruits and veggies as a snack, so I brought you a piece of broccoli Ooh. to feed him. <gasps> broccoli. Can, yeah. <laughs> Looks like a little tree. Hey, Tommy, would you like some broccoli? Here you go. Yum, yum, yum. Enjoy your broccoli. Have a turtle-rific day. <laughs> All right, so this is our oh. California king snake, Sally. Hey, Sally. She's about <laughs> two years old. Um, <laughs> would you like to meet her? I can bring her out. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the back of the body. Uh-huh. We're gonna gently grab her. Now, if she at any point wants to get off of me, that's totally fine. Here's Sally. Wow, Sally is so long. Oh yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> Hi, Sally, it's me, Mika. <laughs> she says hello, Mika. Oh, do you know what those colors are? Yeah, brown and beige. Oh, look at that long tongue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she's sniffing at her home. You see her tongue coming out? Yeah. She's like, this is my home. I'm going to go back. Oh, he's nice and snug in there. Mm -hmm. She says, nice to meet you. Oh, slither back home, Sally. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Who's that? This is Harvey. He's our hamster. <laughs> he is about two and a half years old, which is actually an adult age for hamsters. And this is his little home. Oh, looks so cozy. It is. <gasps> Wait, is this what I think it is? It is. Check out this hamster wheel. <laughs> the hamster's running this round circle, round and around and around. Oh, I wish there was a human-sized hamster wheel. That could be really fun. <laughs> he loves that thing. I bet, it looks <laughs> like a great time. It is. <laughs> 
So this is Harvey's favorite activity. Would you like to see him roll around? Oh yeah. All right, so I'll let you see what he does. He already knows what to do. Oh, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Wee! This is his favorite activity. So he does it at least once a day, a couple times a week. Helps keep him uh, in shape and yeah. healthy. Great exercise. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, friend. And I'll see you later, See Lewis. you later. <laughs> <gasps> Check it out. My wish came true. <laughs> A giant hamster wheel. Ooh, I'll name it the Mika wheel and give it a try. Come on. <laughs> Treat for me. Hand it over. <laughs> Give it. Hello, friends. Would you like to play with this toy? Here you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, did you know kitty cats use their whiskers to help them see? Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, they move around their whiskers to sense what's around them. Here you go. Do you like to play? <laughs> yeah! Oh, so cute. <laughs> hey, another fun fact is kitties, they can jump six times their height. That's really high, kitty cat. <laughs> Wait, I was supposed to be looking for Penny. That's right, let's keep looking. That means goodbye. <laughs> Over here! Check it out! It's the dog we've been looking for! Penny! <laughs> What's that? She's right behind me? Oh, let's go meet her. Hello, Penny. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Here she comes. Hey, Lulu. Hi. Okay, so you wanna meet Penny? Yeah, is it okay if I pet her? Yeah, so the first rule is to always ask the handler if it's okay to meet your dog. Very important. And then you're gonna get down to their level, see? Now we're at the same level. You're gonna <laughs> offer Penny your hand so she can sniff you, get to know you. <laughs> I think she likes me. And then you can get two fingers like this and then go down her back. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> She's so friendly. But remember, it's important to ask the adult with the dog if it's okay to pet and how they like to be pet. Yes. Does Penny like scratches? She does like scratches and she prefers to be pet under the chin, not over the head. Oh, that's a little scary. Okay. May I pet you under your chin? Oh, yeah, lots of scratches. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Betty. Oh, prefer under here. Yes, right. under the chin. There you go. Much better. Do you want to help me put on her dot me vest? Sure. She looks ready to go. Perfect. Do you have treats on you or do you need some? I do. I have some in my jam pack. Perfect. You can feed her treats. Hey, Penny, I have a treat for you. Ooh. Yeah, such a good dog. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> 
Do you want to clip the bottom one? Yes, please. All set under your belly. All done. <gasps> okay, can I take her outside? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Come on, Penny, let's go play. Bye, Penny. <laughs> See ya. Hey, I think I have something for you, Penny, in my jam bag. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do you like a treat? Did you like a treat, Penny? Go get the treat! Oh, good girl. <laughs> I hope you're happy with your new family. It was so nice getting you ready today, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you know that a dog's nose is just like our fingerprints? Yeah. Just how no two people have the same fingerprints, no two dogs have the same nose. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was so much fun. I hope Penny and her new family are very, very happy. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends, bark. See you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out, we're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. There you go, you can get it after. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna, oh yeah. Of oh, course, <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, can you just, mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika. I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh. You can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? It got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna skip a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika. And we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now. There's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls. And this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> Whoa, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels, make sure you go in for a nice smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa. All these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo, let's go even faster. Woo-hoo! Here we are on the flight deck. This place is amazing. 
We're up high. We can see a lot of the New York City skyline. And look at these amazing planes. This is where planes would take off and where they would land. But it's actually not long enough. So they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. It's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, OK. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here, and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely. The red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also, the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. OK, let's go. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one Pontoon. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also going to notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just going to say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but a bit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning flyer. to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah. In fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah. Let's go see what the basket looks like. Absolutely. Come on in. OK. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. Yes, let's do it. Check out the cockpit in this helicopter. Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely. But the three things that you're going to use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals down yeah. on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here that's oh, going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa. So you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> Yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah. I'm going to flip it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember, it lands on the water. So oh, we're not going right. to use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water. Absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. 
Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Oh, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. Well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa. Can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello. <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see. Type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, A. H. Nika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello. Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely, so they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high. You're too high. Or too low. You're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. 
Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there. The pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Oh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid. Do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! <laughs> what kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, see you soon. Hey, everyone. It's me, Mika. And today, I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines. Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so, what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks, and I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa! There's so many. This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Yes, Thanks, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. You push down on a trampoline like this. See how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! 
And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Ooh, I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa, nice job, bouncy ball. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time. Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome. But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey. This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines I and would, with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Make like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Oh, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. This okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go! Me. Oh, of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course. So can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And you're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one. one. 
two, three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One, One two, two, three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah. How about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. <laughs> Or like Ooh. flamingos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, try your other foot. All right, the other one. Whoa, okay. It's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Whoa. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya. Welcome to ODB Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I want to learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <gasps> this is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Amazing dance moves. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. Wow, a dance teacher? Could you give me a dance lesson? 
Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay. Follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first, we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first, we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh, yeah. You count to eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> I'm already awesome. warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're going to do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. <sighs> Me too. Okay? Okay. So we got to go into our straddle. We're going to sit on the ground. We're going to go into our straddle. We're going to spread our legs out. All right. You can sit on the ground too. All right. And we're going to roll our dough out. So we're going to roll our dough. And we're going to pat, 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 pat all around. Pat, 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 pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. Ooh. And then we're going to spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Sprinkle our and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. So I'm going to put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm going to put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm going to put some pineapples on ooh, there. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our oven mittens on. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Protect yourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza. We're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. We're going to put the pizza in there. We're going to close the door. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Take out the pizza. All right, ready? And three, two, one. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Awesome, awesome. All right, and we're going to put our feet together. Our okay. next, our final warm-up, we're going to put our feet together. All right, and we're going to say, hi, Toes. Hi, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Hi, Toes. Hi, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Hi, Toes. Hi, Toes. I quickly grab them before they go away. Wait. We're going to count yeah. to eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay, come on, let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa, we are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are gonna teach me hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements, and also it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance, it's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay, so our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight, okay? Oh you yeah, ready? count to eight, I remember. All right, so first, we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And step out with your left, one. Step together, two. And then repeat Step, that. Yep. Touch. I did. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Step touch. Okay. So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. 
All right. So next, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. But we're going to add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right. So after that, we're going to do our top rock. And our top rock is a really cool move because it's their basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over, and then your left hand under. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, and okay. your heels gonna point up to the sky. And then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, big yeah. hug. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right, we're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under, and then we're gonna kick out with our left foot, and our toes point up at the sky again, and we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, Ooh, big hug! There you go. Good job. Nice. You think we can do it a little faster? Yeah, let's try it. Uh, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, oh, that's good job. So Thank yeah. you. All right, and our next move to make a little more flavor and Ooh, put our boost on it. Yes. We're gonna do a crisscross. You criss ready? Crisscross, what's that? Okay, so it's pretty, pretty simple, okay? So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor, okay? okay. You're like, you're chopping paper, okay? You go, so you're gonna go cross with your right over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow, okay? okay. We're gonna go right foot, shoo, shoo, and we're gonna cross, shoo, Oh, it is like yeah. scissors, like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right, ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. And switch. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. All right, after that, or move into our ballet. Oh yeah, I really love ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay. You see your toes, our heels are kissing each other and going okay. mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count. We're gonna count to eight one more time. So we're gonna go. One, two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Okay? okay. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're going to do it just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice, Flavor to Love our it. ballet. Uh -huh. We're gonna do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're gonna do our tendus to the side. We're gonna start on our right side. We're gonna do it four times. And we're gonna go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna bring it. Boop, boop. One more time. Out. Boop. Bring it. Boop. Out. Boop. Out. Bring it. Boop. In. Out. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So your hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot, out. And then bring it. And go out. Out. And bring it. In. And go out. Bring it. Out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job! Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right. It's going to be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. We're going to start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely, that's the point of dance, absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited, I can't wait. Okay, All right. let's do let's it. Let's do it, let's okay. do it. You lead the way. All right, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, hello. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Come on. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learned new Hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M E E K A H, Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Ball and Bounce in Encino, California. I bet there's all different kinds of balls that bounce here. And I bet there's a lot of different shapes here too we can explore, like circles, or triangles, or squares, or rectangles. <laughs> Will you explore with me? Oh, great, let's go. <laughs> Look how cool this floor is. I see a lot of different colors and I see a shape. Do you see a shape too? Yeah, a square. Here, come down here. A square has four sides. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are squares all over this floor. Hmm, I know. I'm only gonna hop on the green squares. Ready? Green, green, green. <gasps> Whoa, look at this. Do you know what this is? It's a basketball hoop. And I see basketballs on the wall. Will you count the basketballs with me? Okay, one, two, three, Four, five, six basketballs. <gasps> and I see four more right here. Wow, they're all different colors. There's one, two, three, four basketballs. Wow, these are so fun. Do you know what basketball is? It's a really fun sport. You take the basketball and you want to get it in the basket or the hoop. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if I could get any of these balls in the hoop. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, here we go. Basketball star Mika going for the hoop. Oh, I missed it. That's okay, I'm gonna keep practicing. Now we're gonna try the green basketball. 
Ah! See, I was trying to use the backboard to help me get it in, and it still didn't work. Well, I have two balls left. Yellow basketball, maybe this is the one. <gasps> yeah! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Yeah! <laughs> Should I try the last one? Maybe this time I'll do a slam dunk. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Wow! I got the skills. <laughs> I'm just being silly. <laughs> Can you think of another sport where you would need to use a ball? Hmm. <gasps> a soccer ball. Yeah, soccer is another really fun sport where you use a ball. I wonder if we can find a soccer goal anywhere. Come on. I found one, a soccer goal. We have our soccer ball and our soccer goal, so now we can really play soccer. <laughs> Check out the soccer ball. See, it's black and white, and there's two different shapes on it. This shape is a pentagon. Will you count the sides with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides. And this shape is a hexagon. <laughs> Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. So in soccer, you wanna get the ball into the goal, but you can't use your hands. You can use your feet, you can use your knees. Hmm, wait a second. There's more balls over here. I wonder if I can get all of them into the goal. Let's see. Oh, we saw something like this earlier. It's a tiny basketball. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's orange. I'm gonna kick it in the goal. Here we go. Boop. <laughs> oh yeah, goal. And what? <laughs> this tiny one looks like a ball pit ball. Do you know what color that is? Yellow, <laughs> one of my favorites. Let's see if I can kick this tiny little ball into the goal. <gasps> Boop, yes, goal. And we have this really bouncy ball. And it's blue. All right, in you go. Yeah! Whoa, that was a big one. Goal. And another basketball, but this one's a different color. Do you know what color it is? Red. Oh, right. That was too light of a kick, but don't worry. I have it in me. Here we go. Goal! See, I knew I could do it. And here's another really bouncy ball, and it's yellow. All right. Three, two, one, goal! Do you know what this color is? Oh yeah, it's red. Okay, goal! <laughs> and now is the time for the official soccer kick. I'm using a soccer ball. I'm using a soccer goal. One, goal! I love <laughs> Thanks so much for playing with me. I wonder what else is here to play with. Let's go. Hey, look at these colorful blocks. Huh. They're kind of set up like bowling pins. And bowling is another sport where you use a ball. There's usually 10 pins for bowling. Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the perfect setup for bowling. The pins don't usually look like this. These are rectangles. Do you know what a rectangle is? It's a shape with four sides and it has two long sides and two short sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, Four. Yeah, that's a rectangle. Hmm, and usually you have a bowling ball, which is really heavy. 
but I don't think there's any bowling balls here. Hey, but there's some balls over here. I wonder what kind of ball would knock these blocks over? Hmm, we could try, oh, <laughs> look at this little one. Do you know what color this is? Blue, yeah, let's see if it will knock over these blocks. Nope. <laughs> what about this one? This is a fun yellow ball. All right, let's see if this one will work. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's a really bouncy ball. It bounced right off the pin. Let's see how many I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll set them back up. We can try another ball. Awesome. Ooh, what about this basketball? I wonder if it's too bouncy to knock any of these blocks over. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yep, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> We have one ball left to try, the soccer ball. Let's see if the soccer ball can knock any blocks over. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Hmm, I wonder what else we could do to knock these blocks down. I have an idea. What if instead of bowling, we played Mika Bowl? <laughs> and instead of using a ball, I'll use me. <laughs> okay, set these up, and I'm gonna find a way to go down and knock these blocks over. What can I do? I could dance, I could crawl, I could run, or I could be one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Are you ready for the Mika Bowl? Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, yeah, I did it. I knocked all the pins over, and in bowling when that happens, it's called a strike. Strike! Five, six, seven, eight, and now it's time to celebrate. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> Come on, let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa, there are a lot of shapes here. <gasps> Come look at this one. This is an octagon. Do you know how many sides it has? Well, let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Wow, that's a really cool shape. Hmm. Oh, look at these little chairs. If you look at the back of them, you can see a square. A square has four sides, see? One, two, three, four. And there's one, two, three, four squares. But if you look even closer, when all of them are together, it makes one big rectangle and makes for a really comfy couch. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? It's a giant circle. Huh. It kind of looks like a cake or a pie. Whoa, whoa look at this big slice of cake. Mmm, mmm, mm -hmm. very tasty. <laughs> wow, there's more shapes over here. I see a big purple rectangle. See, there's the two long sides and the two short sides. <laughs> And if you look to the side here, I see a pink triangle. See, one, two, three. Do you see any other shapes? Yeah, a circle, a 
red circle. And this ball's here too. Should I throw the ball through the circle? Okay, let's do it. All right, ready? So long, ball! Woo! <laughs> hey, I see some really special circles over there. Come on! all of these bubbles. These are the cool circles that I was talking about. <laughs> bubbles are so fun. Hey, you know what I just realized? Every ball we played with today was a circle. A basketball, a soccer ball, a bouncy ball, a ball pit ball. <laughs> so many circles today. Can you remember any other shapes that we saw? We saw a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, a rectangle, a triangle, a square. There are so many shapes all around us all the time. Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep playing with these bubbles. See you next time, bye. Today, I'm in Peekaboo Playland in Eagle Rock, California. This place looks like so much fun. I can't wait to check everything out. Oh, look down here. I found one, two cars. Whoa, look how big these wheels are. Maybe they'll race. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Hey, I have an idea. What if we pretended that we were in a really busy town? There's lots going on, there's cars everywhere, and they're getting really dirty. And we have to build a car wash to wash the cars. Will you play with me? Awesome, all right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, I'm ready to explore. <laughs> Come on. Hey, let me know if you find a really good place to set up a car wash. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's under here? Hmm, well, I have these two little cars. I don't know if this is a good spot though. This big table already takes up so much space. <gasps> Whoa, look at this car. Oh, it even has eyes on it. Hello, Mr. Car. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, we could wash this car too. It's a lot bigger than these. Hmm, we're gonna need a lot of space. We need a lot of things for a car wash. We need space, we need soap, we need water, we need sponges. All right, let's keep looking. I'm gonna look up here. Hello! Oh yeah, that's definitely not a good space for a car wash. <laughs> it's just a fun slide. <laughs> well, when in doubt, dance it out. Come on cars, let's dance it out. <laughs> huh, let's check this place out. It's a tiny kitchen, this is so cool. There's table and chairs and a refrigerator full of food. Hmm, but this is not a great place for a car wash. You can't wash cars in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, look, there's a sponge in here. This will be the greatest sponge ever to just clean these cars, make them squeaky, shiny, clean. All right, we have a sponge, we have some cars, we still need to find the best place for our car wash. Let's go. Wait a minute. Is this the perfect place to build a car wash? Look at all of this space. There's blocks where we can build the car wash. Oh, there's a bucket. Oh, hi, uh, do you mind if I use this bucket? Thank you so much. Okay, we can pretend that there's soap and water in here. Okay, and look, 
There's a big car that we could wash. That'll be super fun. Okay, we have little cars, we have a big car, soap and water, sponge. Now we just have to build our car wash. Let's do it. I'm gonna build this tower. And I think that's a good height. Will you help me count these blocks? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four. So if I want the same tower on the other side, how many blocks will I need? That's right, four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. See, now they're even. Hmm. This can be a little roof. Okay, now let's test it out and make sure that our big car can fit through. Oh yeah, it fits. Okay, put that there and then, hmm. This will be really fun for the little cars. Welcome, welcome to the grand opening of Mika's Car Wash. We're looking for those dirty cars. We wanna wash those cars. Oh, well here's one right here. Whoa, you've been through a lot. We're gonna clean you up. Get some soap and water on here. There's a lot of dirt on this car. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. <laughs> oh, sorry, got some on your eye there. Okay, I think it's time to go through the car wash. <laughs> okay, let's go car. Get ready for the water. Shh. Are you kidding me? Are you the cleanest car ever? <laughs> you look amazing, so sparkly, so clean. Thank you. Oh. You are the most welcome. Well, have a great day. Bye. <laughs> now we can wash the little cars. Okay, here they are. One, two. Get some soap and water for these little ones. And scrub, scrub clean. Wow, this is so much fun. Clean, clean, clean. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Clean, clean, clean. And a scrub, scrub, scrub. Now it's time to get all those bubbles off. Let's go through the car wash. <laughs> wow, you two look so clean. And guess what? There's a special part for little cars just like you. Welcome to the bonus slide. Boom, 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 boom. Here comes the blue one. All right, have a good day. Bye, car. <laughs> and here's the orange one. Ready for the slide now that you're all nice and clean? Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> all right, buddy, have a great day. Hey, I wonder if there are more cars that we can clean. Let's go. Hey, up here. Will you help me find more things to put through our car wash? Oh, great, let's do it. We haven't looked inside the tower yet. A fire truck. This fire truck could totally go through our car wash. There's a fish up here. Could a fish go through a car wash? <laughs> no, fish don't need to get cleaned in a car wash. They're already in water. Goodbye, fish. Oh. I'm gonna go down the slide. I'll meet you at the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see how fast I went? <laughs> okay, these two can go straight to the car wash. So long. <laughs> Here you go, fire truck. I'll meet you there. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a baby carriage. A baby carriage does not need to go through the car wash. 
This can go through our car wash. Okay, ready to get clean? Straight ahead, meet you there. Another baby carriage. That can't go through the car wash. A tractor. Oh, this will be so much fun to clean the tractor. All right, tractor, take a break from the farm. You're going to the car wash. See you there. Let's see if there's anything else that we can wash. I found an orange motorcycle. This can definitely go through the car wash. All right, I think we have everything we need. I'll meet you at the car wash. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh no, the car wash. Well, that's okay. We can rebuild it. Do you remember how we built this thing? Oh, good. <laughs> okay, to build a tower. I think it looks pretty good. Hey, we did it, we did it. We never ever quit it, we did it. This looks amazing. See, you can always rebuild. All right, I need my bucket and sponge. And, ooh, let's wash this car first. Hello, car. We're gonna make you nice and clean, all right. And a scrub a dub dub, a scrub a dub dub, a scrub a dub dub, and a scrub a dub dub. Okay, watch your eyes. I do have some soap here. Okay. All right. Now you can go through the car wash and get those bubbles off. Here you go. Boom, boom. Shh. <gasps> so clean. Oh, you look so nice. Okay, we're gonna move you, tractor. Why don't you just dry in the sunshine? Oh, and it looks like you're ready to get clean. This is my first time cleaning a tractor. Whoa, it's a little different than a car. Get those wheels. Nice and soapy. Okay, are you ready for the car wash? Awesome, let's go. Looking good, Mr. Tractor. Okay, you can sit here to dry. Beautiful. And oh, what about my favorite, the orange motorcycle? Okay, Oof. it got even dirtier because I crashed into the car wash. My bad. <laughs> Squeaky clean. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> okay, time to go through the car wash. Wow, you look amazing. Okay, you can sit here and dry. And last but certainly not least, we have our two little vehicles, fire truck and a car. I think we can wash you two at the same time. I love the sounds that vehicles make. Like they could have sirens on them like fire trucks. Woo, woo. Or they could have big engines and it could sound like vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> okay, let's go through the car wash together. Shh. Wow, and you get to go down our super fun slide and then you'll get really dry. Ready? And now you fire truck. Everything is so nice and clean now. <gasps> Five, six, seven, eight. Now it's time to celebrate with a clean car parade. All right, first up we have beautiful Miss Green looking very nice and clean. You go, girl. Shh. Bye-bye, thank you so much. And next up we have this clean tractor headed back to the farm. So long, tractor. And we can't forget my little buddy here, the motorcycle that went through a crash, but survived. 
Go on, motorcycle. And our two friends, the fire truck and the big car. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, later. Today was so much fun playing with you at Peekaboo Playland. Thank you so much for helping me build that amazing car wash. We cleaned so many things together. We cleaned cars and trucks. Ooh, and a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Cake Bash Studio in Lake Balboa, California. They have so many fun cakes to decorate here. And maybe I'll get to do some decorating of my own. Come on. Whoa, check out all these delicious treats. Hmm, I wonder what they all are. Oh, hey, look at this treat right here. That's called Tres Leches. Oh, and look, don't these look delicious? Those are cake pops. Oh, they kind of look like balloons. <laughs> Can you pretend to hold a balloon and float away? Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, and check out this. Do you know the shape? That's right, it's a square. Hmm, do you know what fruit this is made out of? <laughs> yeah, it's a lemon bar made out of lemons. Whoa, so many delicious things here. Yum, look at these cakes. Oh, I really like how they're decorated. Look, do you know what kind of animal that is? <laughs> That's right, it's a bunny rabbit. Let's pretend to be bunny rabbits. Huff, 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 huff. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like maybe they had a little bit too much carrot cake. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. Oh, it looks lovely. Do you see the shapes on this cake? Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, they're hearts, just like this one. <laughs> All right. I'm supposed to be decorating cakes too. Oh, I see someone over there. Maybe they can help me decorate a cake like this one. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Moretis, how can I assist you? Moretis, I would love to decorate a cake. Oh, you came to the perfect place. <laughs> That's what we do. So any idea you may have, we can turn it into a cake. Hmm, I'm not sure how I want to decorate my cake yet. Mm, well, we have plenty of inspiration. So Ooh. take some time to look around and I'll meet you in the back so we can get started. Great. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Whoa, look at all these cakes. Hmm. They're all different sizes and they're decorated differently too. Time to get some inspiration. Inspiration is when you're getting ideas that make you want to create. <laughs> Let's check out these cakes. <gasps> Whoa, look, a unicorn cake with a beautiful rainbow on it. <laughs> so colorful. And check it out. Wow, this is called fondant and you can use it to create all kinds of different shapes on cakes like clouds and flowers and different shapes. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like rain. Oh, showers. <laughs> Let me get my umbrella. <laughs> so cute. Did you know that you can't have a rainbow without rain? Uh-huh, that's right. And look over here. These cakes, they all have different toppers. This is called a topper because it's at the top of the cake. Oh, and there's a rabbit topper and a topper with a word. Do you know what this says? <laughs> it says love. Let's spell it. L-O-V-E, -E, love. <laughs> oh, and check it out. The bunny rabbit has a little heart nose. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Let's turn on this radio and have a 10 second dance party. Ready? Bloop, 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 bloop. I love cake. Cake is great. 
I love cake because it makes me want to wiggle and shake. <laughs> okay, I feel all inspired and I'm ready to decorate. Let's go. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, hi, Mika. Did you get any inspiration? Yes, I have a lot of great ideas. Awesome. So here, we're going to get some embellishments that you can add to your cake. And after that, you're going to meet me at the cake decorating station, OK? Great. <laughs> but first, let's grab your apron. Whoa. Baker and Mika. Thank you. <laughs> cool. I have an apron. I'm Baker Mika, ready to decorate. <laughs> first, let me tie my apron up. Check out all these embellishments. Embellishments are little details you can add to a cake. Whoa, and look, there are so many different types of colors and shapes. Hmm, I'd like to put this on my cake. <laughs> Do you know what these are? <laughs> yeah, bananas. Mmm, they're yellow, just like one of my favorite colors. Okay, oh, speaking of favorite colors, Oh, yeah, my other favorite color. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I should get out some embellishments of Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need blue and orange. Oh, check it out. Blue and orange. What do we have here? <gasps> some pumpkins. Oh, and lots of blue sprinkles. Do you hear that? That's such a cool sound. It's like a maraca. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I like to decorate cakes. <laughs> so cool. Okay, let's grab some more. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Kind of look like mermaid tails. Cool. I'd like some of those, please. And... Check it out. These are metallic. <laughs> Some of those. And, hmm. Oh, look. This kind of looks like snow. <laughs> That's pretty neat, too. I just washed my hands. I have my embellishments, and I'm ready to start. Awesome. So now we're going to work in some fondant. Okay. Okay, so we can create some decorations for the cake. Great. You're gonna take the amount of fondant you wanna use, roll it so you can smooth it out. Okay. And then you're gonna roll. Roll it? Yes. Kinda like a ball. Hey, I could even juggle with these. <laughs> there you go, your rolling Ooh, pin. My rolling pin. Now I'm gonna roll it out. So it's nice and smooth and flat. Yeah, one smooth Ooh. motion. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of like clay. Okay. All right, you're ready. So now you're gonna choose your cutter. Huh, I'd like to choose this flower. You Place gonna that there. press it and wiggle. Press and wiggle. Now can I pull away this extra yes. fondant? Okay, let's pull this part away. Check it out, a beautiful flower. <gasps> Ooh, maybe it's a daisy, maybe it's a sunflower or a rose. Great, we'll put it right there. Can I make one out of blue fondant now? Of course. So now, roll it. Roll it up just like a ball. Move it out. What's this? Cornstarch. This helps you for, it to, for the fondant to not stick to the surface. Oh, okay. Good to know. Now you're ready to roll. Ready to roll. <laughs> Ooh, I like this color blue. How's that? All right, I think that's good. Okay, so now what shape are you gonna use? Hmm, let's do a car. <laughs> awesome. Now remember, press and wiggle, wiggle. Press and wiggle. Great! Oh, that looks awesome! Oh, I just remembered! I have some cutters in my jam pack. Oh, awesome. 
let's do those. I have a bow tie for my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and, oh, a T-Rex. Roar. Can you roar with me like a T-Rex? Roar. You too. Roar. <laughs> okay, I want to do the T-Rex next. All right. There you go. <laughs> a blue T-Rex. That is funny. Ooh. Hello, T-Rex. You can see his bones and everything. All right. That looks great. Could be a bow tie or a hair bow. Okay, I'd like to finish with this truck. Honk, honk. this out, it this out. <laughs> there you go. And here we can use that. Oh yeah. Things to see it didn't cut through completely. You can cut it out. Cut Perfect. It. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's wheel you over, truck. Honk, honk, honk. All right, so now that we're done with fondant, we're gonna be working with frosting. This is our American buttercream and we have our food coloring. These are primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. When you mix certain primary colors, you make secondary colors, like purple and orange. <gasps> oh, I've got it. I'd like to make purple and orange. All right, so let's do it. Okay, let's scoop in our frosting. All right, so in order to make orange, I'd like to mix yellow and red. Perfect. Now to make purple, I will mix <gasps> red and blue. There we go. Okay, time to stir. Wow, it's turning orange. It's turning purple. <laughs> Great. That looks delicious. All right, so here's your cake. Now you have everything you need so that you can make your creation. If you need anything else, just let me know. I'll be in the back. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Bye, Marini. Bye, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, let's start to decorate. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, gonna put on my truck. Let's put on our car next. Oh, and look at this. It's a turntable. <laughs> Spin, spin, spin. Oh, I want to put my flower on top. Hmm, where should my T-Rex go? Rawr. Oh, here's a great spot for it. Hmm, I'll save my bow tie for later. Now I'm ready to do some frosting. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Wow, three little ringlets. Let's do a little fourth one. Wow. Okay, let's put on some embellishments. Bananas. Open this up. Whoa, check it out. Sprinkle these on top. Wow. Okay, let me put on the bow. <laughs> check it out. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it, <laughs> yeah. Wow, awesome. We decorated a cake. Whoa! Decorating cakes is fun and creative too. First, we got inspiration. Then, we cut shapes into the fondant. And then we frosted our friendship cake. <laughs> yeah! Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E
K A H. Mika. Okay, friend. I'll see ya later. Hey, it's me, Mika, and look where I'm at. I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on. Wow, check it out. We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa, this half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. <gasps> and it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Wow, two more giant crayons, green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. It reminds me of a big donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course but we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. 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 I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you work here? I do. I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach. That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah, hurrah. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're going to jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo. Whoa, this is fun. Nice. Okay, can you guess what I am? Roar! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear. That's cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Roar! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa. Nice job. <laughs> All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you're more flexible than me because you're a rail gymnast. I have been practicing. <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you try to like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Nice. It feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck. Okay. 
All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Oh, a blast, okay. One, two, three, blast. Blast. There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Boy, it takes so hard. And then you turn it right into our art shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Art, art, art. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our learn. lesson yeah. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on. And let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're gonna do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! That was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one Good. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! Oh, there it is! I, know, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta da! Oh, ta da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard? What's it that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we to run fast. We wanna jump and reach up high. Whoa, that looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger. Jump. Oh, Ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hands? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot, because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. Nice cartwheel. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you did some stuff on the floor. Mm -hmm. In gymnastics, we also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. So I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. <gasps> Just Whoa, like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I think now. You're ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, and whoo, I'm casting. Whoa. You're doing good. <laughs> okay. Now what? You're gonna tuck your chin. You're gonna turn your hands okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa. <laughs> nice. You went up. I did the flip around the bar too. <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline. All right, let's do it. All right, come on. Whoa. <gasps> wow, this is a really long trampoline. Yeah, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. 
Fries, I love eating fries. <laughs> All right. We got yellow. Oh. Blue. Oh. And orange. They do look like fries. Look, it's like a giant fry. <gasps> Ooh. Yum. <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay, All ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Hey. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop. Okay. And come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp. Yep, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump! 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 So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. You. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Oh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right, first things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. Woo! <laughs> Back at the half circle. Climb over. <gasps> and the green circle, I could do a kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> Then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balancing. I got this, I got this, I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. <laughs> So much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Good job. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. <gasps> Whoa! It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Happy Ice in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited because we get to learn all about water ice. Have you ever heard of water ice before? <laughs> it's smooth and creamy like ice cream, but refreshing like shaved ice. And I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika.
Mika, so nice to meet you. Hey, Mika, I'm Lemire. <laughs> do you make Happy Ice? Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. And we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh, man, you need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Oh, it's so colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red, pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow. And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh, we're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten watermelon seeds. <laughs> and did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. <laughs> oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. <gasps> Let's count the cherries. One, two, two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one, a lemon. It's one of my favorite colors, yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? Yeah, this pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits. Strawberries and some more cherries, just like this one. <laughs> and watermelon too. Ooh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. <laughs> and look, another rainbow. Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Ooh. Hey, Lemire. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making it <gasps> in. Can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. Oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. Oh, well, this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. Oh, perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. I would like my other favorite color, purple, too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple's your favorite color? Yes, one and of guess them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently flavor. that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light, but very, very good. Oh, I'd like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're going to go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay? You want to do yellow? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and do the purple. All right, go ahead and pour the whole thing inside. All, right. All righty, I'll take that one. You can, now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In machine Pour that one, one inside of there. Mmm, <laughs> it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. It tastes good too. Awesome. Thank you. And now sitting at the top of the machines, is our special water mix. This is what makes 
Philadelphia water ice. Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You want to go ahead and take this. Okay. And pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay. Here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yep. And we got one more. Where to go? You actually make two flavors. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Perfect. All righty. So now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow! Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow! Check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm gonna start off by just hitting this button. And this one, and now it's ready to come out. So I'm gonna stir up the top a little bit, get the top mixture a little solid. All right, and we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a head man? Yeah. All right. Looks great. I'm gonna let it out, I'm gonna demonstrate on this one, and you're gonna do that one, okay? Okay. All right, so you wanna bring it to the center, you have to lift it up, and then the product comes out. And we wanna stir it while it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. Then once it fills up, bring this back down, turn it to the side, stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're gonna stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You wanna start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, and then you can lift up the handle. Go ahead, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're gonna hurry up and get inside of the freezer so there's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay? All right. So we need our two lids. We're gonna pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> and now you wanna go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. Happy ice, happy ice, happy life. <laughs> oh look, we have a customer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a customer. <gasps> oh, there she is. <laughs> Here you go, babe. Yeah. You're welcome, enjoy. <laughs> Great, another happy customer. Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. See you later, friends. Hi, it's me, Mika, and today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, <laughs> look. This box says, <laughs> oh, I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. <laughs> All guests 
must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I see some paint colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and yellow. <gasps> and they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Ha, huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, welcome friends, come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends, welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool, a circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm, which one should I choose? Uh, I think I like this one, the medium stacked square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Hi, Margie. Oh, hi, Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome. So did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect. And did you want to add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie? For my best friend. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller. Easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> and what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stacked pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here and oh, those yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines, that's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth. <laughs> Come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you want to push. Okay. Once it's on, you are going to run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay. So let's make this super smooth. Time to sand. So 
we are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base and let's dry! Okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you wanna do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm gonna give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you want to do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool. And this is going to push all the bubbles out. Yes. OK. Bye, bubbles. <laughs> so now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you. Slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. When I did it! <laughs> wow. That looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. For the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone.
Okie doke. Perfect. So now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. We look like a sugar cone. I'm going to be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end. Dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Now, let's see. My headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh, this is good. And, oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your bag. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Whoop, ah, that is powerful. <laughs> it's dry, so now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. You ready? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain, exactly. okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each? Down towards you. So, yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa! Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear, that's totally fine. Oop, there we go. Whoa! That looks so cool! How good you did! Wow, check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right. We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we are ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. That looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woof. Everything's about to fly. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the grain. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. 
It looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I want to be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Whoop. Okay, we have one, two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. Okay, you're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. Nice. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so <laughs> welcome. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. Wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. Oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M E E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here you can adopt a dog or a cat and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh. It's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout! What a cute name! Hi, Sprout! I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa. Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Aww. And is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes. We give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. If oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us. And yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. 
Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aw, so, so sweet. What's this, a blue? <gasps> Like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi! So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. There's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. 
see some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh, this cat is taking a cat nap. Wow, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. <gasps> How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks, just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Oh, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> You have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aw, it's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun. Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today, we learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time, bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. 
Today I'm at a really cool place called Sequest Interactive Aquarium in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Interactive means we get to pet, feed, and say hi to some of the animals we meet. I'm so excited to meet some adorable animals. Let's go. Whoa, check out this canoe. It has so many bright colors. Let's name the colors. Red, black, yellow, one of my favorite colors. Orange and brown too. I know, let's get inside and go find some animal friends. Whoa, the waters are really rough. Grab your oar. Great job, keep going. Whoa, I can see the shore is getting closer. Let me make sure we're going the right way. Oh yeah, we're traveling west. <laughs> keep rowing, friend, you're doing a great job. Oh, we made it to shore. Let's go see what animal friends we can find. Wow, look at these sea stars. They're so bright and colorful. Let's take a closer look. Let's count how many arms this one has. One, two, three, four, five. Five arms. Did you know when sea stars injure their arms, they just grow back. <laughs> and sea stars have a very interesting way of eating. They wrap their arms around their food, spit out their bellies. The bellies eat up all the food, yum, 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 yum. And then they go back into their body. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. That's called a sea urchin. It's round and kind of prickly. And that's a sea anemone. Let's give it a peck. Whoa, it's so soft. <laughs> Let's pet this sea star too. Oh, that was much harder. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, a stingray. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are real stingrays over there. Let's go say hello. <laughs> wow. <gasps> stingrays have flat bodies so that they can get nice and snug in some sand in case they need to protect themselves. <laughs> and they love to eat shrimp. <gasps> hey, I know. Let's feed them some of my Sequest shrimp that I have in my jam pack. <laughs> Okay, friends, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more stingray friends to eat some lunch. There you go. How about a pet? Oh, here's a friend. <laughs> you must be really hungry, friend. Oh, whoa. Did you see that shark? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Let's feed them some more. <laughs> Stingrays move very wavy like this. That's because they don't have any bones. It was so nice to meet you, Stingrays. Let's go see what other friends we can find. <laughs> Whoa. I heard this tortoise's name is Stormin' Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Tortoises have hard shells that protect their bodies. Their arms, legs, and head can go inside of it. <laughs> Whoa. And did you know tortoises do something called broom mating? That's when they sleep longer in the winter months. <laughs> Let's see if Stormin wants some food. I have some Sequest jicama in my jam bag. <laughs> Here you go, Norman. Nope, doesn't seem like he's hungry. That's okay, I'll hold on to your food for later. 
Well, bye, Norman. Let's go see some other animal friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Janelle. Hey, Janelle. What do you do here? I'm the lead keeper here. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, are you about to feed the animals? Yes, would you like to go in? I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is Azalea. <laughs> Hi, Azalea. What does Azalea like to eat? She likes to eat different kinds of greens and haze. She's got flat teeth so she can chew on those. Oh, wow, they're herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. <laughs> May I feed her? Yes, you can. Here you go, Azalea. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Did you know wallabies can balance on their tails? <laughs> wow! And how are wallabies different from kangaroos? It's mostly size. Kangaroos get about six feet, where these guys get to about three and a half, four feet in height. Oh, so wallabies are much smaller. <gasps> can I pet Azalea? Yes, we're gonna do a two finger touch down her back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so soft. Can you tell me any other facts about wallabies? Yes, they're marsupials. Oh, I know what that means. Marsupials carry their babies in pouches. <laughs> kind of like a jam pack. Oh, do you hear that hopping sound? <laughs> hop, hop. Let's hop like a wallaby. Hop, hop. <laughs> Would you like to go see some other animals? Yes, I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's hop away. Whoa, prairie dogs. I know, prairie dogs like to live in groups. That's right, they also like to communicate with each other through chirps and noises. Whoa, will you chirp like a prairie dog with me? Chirp, 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 chirp. And prairie dogs like to burrow. That means they live underground. And they like to nuzzle each other's noses. <laughs> and they groom each other too. That's how they stay clean. That's right. Would you like to feed them? <gasps> yes, please. Yep. Oh, look, they like lettuce. Oh, are you ready to eat, friend? There you go. <laughs> what does it mean when they do this? They like to play with you. Would you like to try? Sure. Let's see if they'll play with me. Hello, friend. Will you dance with me? Can we see some other animals? Yes, let's go. Great. Who's this? This is Percy the possum. Oh, Percy is so fluffy. He's a marsupial. Do you remember the other marsupials we met? <laughs> yeah, the wallabies. Wow, Percy has such a strong tail. Is that for climbing trees? Yes, this is a prehensile tail. Mmm, prehensile means there are lots of muscles in his tail. <laughs> what does Percy like to eat? Percy likes to eat lots and lots of bugs at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And he likes to eat little snacks here and there. Ooh. Would you like to feed him one? Yes, please. Oh, yum! Sweet potato. Here you go, Percy. Yum, he's got a big mouthful. Can I pet him? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> How does Percy differ from other marsupials? He's nocturnal. Oh, nocturnal means that he sleeps during the day and is awake all night. How many teeth does Percy have? He has the most amount of teeth of a North American uh, marsupial or oh. mammal. <laughs> oh, great. It was so nice to meet you, Percy. <gasps> Who's this? This is Clem. <laughs> Hi, Quilliam. Is he named Quilliam because of these quills? Yes. <laughs> these quills help keep Quilliam safe. Whenever he's frightened, he just fans out his quills, and that means please stay back. <laughs> Quilliam's an African crested porcupine. <gasps> an African crested porcupine is the biggest porcupine in the world. Can I feed him? Yes, you can. Ooh, what's this? There's yucca. He likes to eat root vegetables. Sweet potato, yucca. <laughs> Quilliam, would you like some yucca? 
Here you go, Quilliam. Very tasty, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Feels like Quilliam has very strong teeth. He does. He has rodent teeth. They never stop growing. He's also got a special enamel on him that keeps him from getting <laughs> cavities. Oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all these animals. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Bye, Quilliam. Bye, Mika. Whoa! A coloring station. Would you like to color with me? <laughs> Great! <laughs> I'll start with... Purple. I know. Can you guess what animal I'm coloring that we saw earlier today? I'll give you a few hints. This animal has eyes on top of its head and a mouth on the bottom of its body. Ooh, I want to use black next. <laughs> this animal loves to eat shrimp. <laughs> Ooh, I'm coloring with blue now. This animal has a really long tail. Do you know what it is? That's right, a stingray. <laughs> I think I'll name my stingray Shirley. <laughs> Come on, Shirley, let's swim away. <laughs> Look, stingray, I can move like you. <laughs> Whoa. That was so much fun meeting all those stingrays, and Azalea the wallaby, and Quilliam the porcupine. Wow, those animals are so cute. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, let's hop away like wallabies. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. My best friend Blippi has been here a few times and said it's so much fun. So I thought I would come here and see for myself. <laughs> I have my compass watch and my jam pack, so I'm ready for any kind of adventure. Come on. Oh, oh it's a note to me, dear Mika. <laughs> And it's from Blippi. Oh, <laughs> let's read it. I'm so excited that you are going to Billy Bee's. You're going to have an amazing time. I've put some things in your jam pack for you to play with throughout the day. You just have to figure out where to use them. Have fun. Oh, you put things in my jam pack? Let's see. Oh, there's a, hmm. <laughs> a chef's hat. Okay. Carrot seeds? Huh. And colorful ribbon. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna use these items for. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, cool. And Billy Bee's socks. Let's play. Honeycomb Village? <laughs> Sounds fun. Let's go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hey, look at this, a garden. Ooh, I love gardens because that means there's delicious fruits and vegetables here and I love to eat. All right, let's see what's in this garden. Ooh, corn on the cob. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, onions, two onions. One, two, yummy. Oh, do you know what these are? It's a root vegetable. That's right, potatoes. One, two. Oh, and I see a big potato right here. Yummy. Oh, this is getting me hungry. There's even strawberries in this garden. One, two. <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a garden? Yeah, I think there was. Carrot seeds. Oh, this will go perfect in the garden. I can just, let's make some room, excuse me, food. Excuse me. And put some carrot seeds in there. And you need nutritious soil and some water. 
and some beautiful sunshine, and then a fruit or vegetable will grow. Ooh, I can't wait to see these carrots grow. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll take a snack for the road. Hmm, maybe I'll find a yellow snack. Like a huh, banana. That's a nice, healthy fruit filled with potassium. Hmm, let's go. <laughs> Did you ever notice that a banana kind of looks like a phone? Hello? Hello, Mika. Yeah, it's me, Mika. How are you? Good. What are you up oh, to? I didn't even know that this was charged up. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I gotta go. I'm playing with my friends. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I better finish eating this banana. Hmm. <laughs> Peeling and... Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Put the peel right here in the trash. Oh, and look, it's like we're in a little house. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> ice cream in the freezer. And there's two ice cream cones. One, two. One for me and one for you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and the refrigerator's on the bottom. I wonder if there's any treats in there. No treats. Looks like somebody needs to go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, whoa, there's food over here. Look at these two baskets of food. Hmm, we should make something. What should we make? See a lot of bread and cheese and let's make a sandwich. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have in this basket? We have bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have burgers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have cheese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we have tomatoes, please. Let's stack it. Let's stack it. Come on, we're gonna snack it. <laughs> Check it out. Burger, cheese, tomato. Ooh, it's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be yummy. Mmm! <laughs> Tasty! What else is in here? Oh, a really tiny soda. Oh. <sighs> nice and refreshed. <laughs> Whoa, look at this cool sink. Oh, looks like there's some dirty dishes here. Ooh. Ooh, we really need to clean this spatula. So, oh, here's a sponge. Get a little soap on there and some water. Time to clean. <laughs> there we go. Hey, when you're playing, it's always best to clean up if you make a mess. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's get some water on here and <gasps> good as new. So clean. <laughs> I wonder what else is here. Let's go. Whoa, a pizzeria. Let's go inside. <gasps> wow, look, pizza. Ooh, I love pizza so much. Hmm, isn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a restaurant? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, a chef's hat. Okay, if I put it on, I can be a chef. Chef Mika, welcome to my pizzeria. Okay, let's see, we have the pizza ready. Let me get one of these trays here and let me just slide that on here. Ooh, good thing it's pretender. That would be really hot. <laughs> okay, let's put it together to make a nice circle for the pizza. Okay, who ordered the mushroom, tomato, cheese, and green sprinkle pizza? Oh, you? Oh, well, it's ready. Let's go to the register so you can pay. Okay. Let's see, you've got the cheese and the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the green sprinkles. I'm gonna give it to you for free. The sprinkles are on the house. Okay, that'll be one million dollars, please. Whoa, thank you. Okay, Whoop. there you go. And here's your change. <laughs> All right, here's your pizza. Enjoy. Actually, 
Pizza sounds pretty good right now. And, oh, yes, I'm due for my lunch break. Okay. Whew. And that pizza special that you ordered looked really good. So I think I'm gonna have the same thing. <gasps> and there's one ready for me right over there. Ah, oh, it looks so yummy. Hey, will you count the pizza slices with me? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, six yummy slices just for me. Ooh, and pizza's so fun because you can eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe I'll put some, a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And ooh, some salt. <laughs> ooh, hot sauce. I love spicy food. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, that looks really yummy. Okay, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's too hot. It's too hot. Okay, I thought I could handle it. I cannot. That's okay. We'll just leave it there for a second. Maybe I'll come back to it when I'm feeling a little better. Let's see what else is here. Come on. Whoa, look at this really colorful place that we can play in. Come on. Ooh, these are fun steps. Look, the color green. And this step's the color blue. And this is the color green. And this is orange and blue and green. Hey, there's a slide over there. Will you meet me at the bottom? All right, see you soon. Oh, I can't wait to go down the slide. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fast. Hey, there's something super colorful over there. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check out the rainbow slides. <gasps> That must be where I'm supposed to use the rainbow ribbon. <laughs> Did you see that? There's so many different colors. And it looks like there's a ribbon for each slide. <laughs> Guess I have to go down every single slide. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the bottom. See ya. Whoa! Blue! Light blue. <laughs> Here I come. Green. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Red. <laughs> hey, we did it. We figured out where to use the items that Flippy put in my jam pack. We got to plant carrot seeds. And oh, I wore the chef's hat when I made pizza in the pizzeria. And the rainbow ribbons led us to these really cool rainbow slides. Oh, it was so much fun playing with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. <laughs> Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Peter Weber Equestrian Center in Rolling Hills Estates, California. And I'm so excited because today we're going to feed and care for horses. <gasps> And also, I heard there are some other animals here for us to meet. Come on, let's go explore. Howdy, y'all. It's cowgirl Mika coming to check on my horses. This rootin' tootin' town needs someone to make sure all the animals are taken care of. And I'm the gal for that. <laughs> okay, let's go get the horses started on their daily routine. 
I've been given permission to feed all the animals here today. Can you help me? Oh, great! I've got my bucket. Come on, let's go. Bye, Bobby. Hey, buddy. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <gasps> Whoa, he must be so excited to meet me. Did you know you can tell a lot about a horse's mood by the way his ears are pointed? If they're pinned back, that means they're not feeling very friendly, so we should give them some space. But if they're forward, that means they're looking ahead and it's okay to pet them. Oh, look, his ears are pointed forward. He must be ready for us to pet. Let's go. Hi, buddy. Wow, he's so soft. Did you know that a horse can look at two different... Yeah, that's right, buddy. He's excited to eat. Did you know horses can pay attention to different things when their ears are pointed in different directions? That means they're focused on two different things at the same time. Buddy's ready to eat. Let's feed him. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for breakfast? Hmm, what do I have for you to munch and crunch? <gasps> Look, we have some carrots and some hay. Let's go. Are you ready, buddy? Oh, wow. Let's try some hay next. <gasps> Great job, pal. <gasps> horses are herbivores, so they love to eat plants. Did you know horses don't have to brush their teeth? That's right. That's because their teeth keep growing and growing. And they never get too long because they just get whittled down when they eat. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Buddy is a Palomino horse. Horses come in all different colors, like Appaloosa, Pinto, Paint, Black. I've got it. Let's go on a ride and find a bay horse. Come on, let's go. Check out all these horses. Okay, first we'll park Buddy, and then we'll take a closer look. Great job, Buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dismount now. Now he's in. <gasps> wow, look at all these horses. They're so colorful. <gasps> Check out Happy. Hello, Happy. Is Happy a bay horse? No, Happy is an Appaloosa. <laughs> cool. Let's keep looking for our bay horse. Check this guy out. I wonder if he's a bay horse. Hi, are you a bay horse? No, that's a chestnut horse. Let's keep looking. <laughs> oh, I see another horse over there. Let's go see. Hello. <laughs> Are you a bay horse? Oh, no. That's a Palomino, just like Buddy. Okay, one more. Is this a bay horse? That's right. It is a bay horse. <gasps> Hello. I'm here to take care of you. <laughs> Let's walk him over to his stall. There we go. All right, we're ready. Come on. <laughs> now that we're here, we should check his stall. It's important to keep a horse's stall clean from manure and mud so they don't get sick. Ha <laughs> ha Wow, it's spotless. Great job keeping your room clean. <laughs> Just kidding. Now it's time for some grooming. I'll grab my brush. Wow. It's important to clean off any dirt that might bother them under their saddle. We can also check for any injuries he might have gotten overnight. Great. 
Did you know that horses can run right after being born? That's incredible. It takes humans a lot longer to learn how to run. First, we learn how to roll over and then sit up and then crawl and then walk and then run. But horses can do it right away. That's so impressive. Must be because their legs are so strong. Do you need any lunch? Nope, you've already eaten. Okay, guess my work here is done. See you later. Let's go check out what other animals we can feed. Oh. Wow, check out this petting corral. Let's see what kind of animals are inside for us to care for. Follow me. Whoa, there are so many animals. I see goats and alpacas. Oh, there's even a chicken. Let's see if they need some food. Come on in. Hello. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh, it looks like he's ready. Have you had any food? That means, yep, I'm all full. <laughs> What's in my bucket? I grab my brush so your hair can be nice and plush. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Let's start brushing. <laughs> Brushing is important because it loosens any loose hair and dandruff from their hair. Mm-hmm. That helps keep their blood flow nice and healthy. There you are, friend. Great job. <laughs> You're all clean. You look great. My job is done here. Wow, bunny rabbits. Let's hop inside. Hop, hop. Keep hopping. <laughs> Check out all these bunny rabbits. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? <laughs> oh, lettuce! Bunnies are herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. And they're very social too. So they like to live in groups. Let's count how many bunny rabbits we see. One, two, three. Three bunny rabbits. Oh, they're so soft and cuddly. <laughs> and bunny rabbits, their teeth, they just keep growing just like horses. But it gets whittled down after they eat. <laughs> Well, our rabbits are all fed. Let's go see what other animals we can find. Oh, look at these tortoises. They're so cool. Are you ready for some lunch? <laughs> yes, I got you. What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? Whoa, he started early. That's right, it's lettuce. A tortoise's shell is really tough to protect them. They can put their head, arms, and legs inside like a cozy little home. <laughs> and these shapes, they're called scutes. Oh, that's a lot of scutes. Now that the tortoises are fed, I'll just scoot on out of here. Success! All the animals are fed, groomed, and taken care of. Thanks for helping me, friend. <laughs> that was so much fun meeting Buddy and all those cute bunnies, tortoises, and goats. They're all fed and ready for their day. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, y'all. See you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. 
and today I'm visiting Hack Peak in Southgate, California. Did you know this is a place where we can rock climb? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing is a fun way to exercise our buttons. Oh, I have an idea. Let's play a game. Every time I make it all the way to the tippy top, I'm gonna get a Mika point. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wow, check out all these climbing towers. <gasps> oh, before we start climbing, we should stretch and warm up our bodies. Stretching is a great way to keep your muscles healthy and safe. <gasps> okay, starting with those legs. Ah, deep breaths. Ah. Ooh. <gasps> Do you hear that? I just got a Mika point for stretching. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, before I climb, I should take off my jam pack. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bertha, nice to meet you. <laughs> did you just climb all the way to the top? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Can you show me how to get ready to climb? Yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> What's the first step? Thank you. Okay, so the first step, I have to get a harness on you, just for your own safety, okay? Oh, great. We're gonna get a harness on so we can be safe while we climb. Okay, so once you're ready, you're gonna put your right foot and left foot in the small holes and then just pick it up like their pants, okay? Oh, great. Right foot, left foot. Pick them up like their pants. Good job. And you're gonna hold it on your waist. Thank you. Get in it okay, nice and tight. Great, I feel really secure. All right, you're good. Okay, and now the next step, you're gonna get your wheel and you're gonna put it in here, okay? Got my wheel. Hear the click and then you get your key and then take it right out. Release the key. There you go. <gasps> Great. And then just let your mat come down and then you're good to go. Thank you so much, Bertha. Yeah, of course. Bye. <laughs> okay, my harness is on and I'm locked into the belay and I'm ready to go because I'm safe and ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, let's climb. <gasps> wow! using the muscles in my legs and my arms. <laughs> Great job. Wow, another Mika point. It was so cool. I can't wait to climb another wall. But first, we have to get out of our wheel. Pick up the key. Wait for the click. There it is. And release our wheel. Woo. <laughs> Great. Are you ready for our next wall? Me too. Let's go. We're at our next wall. But first, let's stretch again. All right. Here's how I stretch my legs. Yeah, and here's how I stretch my arms. Whoa! <laughs> stretch out my toesies too. And don't forget those ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Take my wheel, click, and release the key. I'm ready to go. <gasps> Whoa, don't these look like eggs? <laughs> All right, here I go. Wow, another Mika point. Whoa, I made it all the way to the top by taking it one step at a time. <sighs> all that climbing has made me kind of tired. I think now's a great time for a water break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's 
put in our key. Quick! Grab our wheel. Ah, let's go. Ah, I'm having so much fun climbing walls with you, but I'm feeling a little thirsty. Good thing I brought my water bottle. More Mika points. Yeah! Whoa! Did I just get another Mika point for drinking water? <laughs> Great! <sighs> Climbing up high is a lot of fun, but it's important to drink water after you play. That's called staying hydrated, and it's really good for your body. <laughs> okay, now that I'm hydrated, I'm ready to climb the coolest wall ever! <laughs> Are you ready? Great, let's go! to our next wall. Oh, and it's icy and so chilly. It's Mount Everest and it's really, really cold. Warm up your hands with me. Oh, I know. Let's dance it out to warm up our bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's buckle in and head up the mountain. Mika Point, here I come. It was cold, but I had a lot of fun. I saw so many polar bears at the top. And I earned a Mika point. And we got a Mika point. You know what else I earned? <gasps> Some hot cocoa. Ooh, nice and warm. Mmm. Now let's go see what other fun things we can do. Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> oh, check out these blocks. I want to stack them. Yellow and then blue. Oh, let's do another yellow and another blue. Whoa, cool pattern. A pattern is something that repeats itself. See? Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Let's put another yellow one on top. Whoa, it's getting so high. Another blue at the very top. Ooh. Whoa, I got it, cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can put another yellow one on top. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome! That was so much fun. Let's find another wall to climb. <gasps> Whoa! This wall is awesome. It looks like seven bouncy balls stacked on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be the most challenging climb yet. Challenging means it's going to take a little bit more effort than before, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Mika point for every ball I climb on. That's going to be a lot of Mika points. You ready? <laughs> Me too. All right, put our wheel in. Click. And release the key. Make a point. Here I come.
put in my key, release the wheel. <gasps> that was so much fun. It was challenging, but we made it all the way to the top. Great job! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> wow, today was awesome. First, we stretched our bodies and warmed up. Then Bertha showed us how to put on a harness so we could safely climb our first wall. <gasps> we had hot cocoa on top of Mount Everest. Then we finished with a grand finale on the seven bouncy balls and earned lots of Mika points. You helped me earn this many Mika points today. <laughs> Whoa, we make such a great team. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, see you later. Bye! Hey, it's me, Mika. Today, I'm at a very cool place called Lost World's Myth and Magic in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Oh, that was a magical moment. <laughs> mm. Do you see those statues? Let's go check them out. <gasps> Wait, you're not a statue. <laughs> Hello, my lady. I am Sir Adam of the Kingdom of Lost Worlds. Hello, Sir Adam. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And Mika, I have a mystical quest. Can you please help me with it? Oh, yeah. The baby dragons of the kingdom have escaped. Can you please help us find them? Of course! Here is a scroll with your instructions. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> okay, we have to find these baby dragons. There's a blue one, a green one, a purple, and a red dragon. <laughs> Will you help me find them? Great! <laughs> Do I have everything I need for my mythical quest? All you need is your Lost World safety socks. Oh! And remember to follow the dragon footprints to help you find the babies. Great, follow the dragon footprints. Okay, let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Whoa, check out this castle. <laughs> there are lots of places for a baby dragon to hide here. Oh, we're gonna find you, baby dragon. Look at these trees. Whoa, they're so tall. Let's count how many trees there are. One, <laughs> two. Oh, and look, I see another forest. Check it out. This is a cylinder. <gasps> hey, you know what else is shaped like a cylinder? Yeah, tree trunks. <laughs> wow, this is a very enchanted forest. And look, a bridge. Whoa. Okay, let's go over the bridge like a knight on a horse. Ready? Whoa. Do you see that hot scotch? <laughs> yeah, I have an idea. Let's hop on the orange numbers. Do you know which ones are the orange numbers? <laughs> yeah, two and six. Okay, let's hop away. Yeah! Whoa, a boat. Let's get inside. I like sailing with my best friends, being brave and fine dragons. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, let's keep going. Look, a whole herd of horses. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna press the red button, see what happens next. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> and check it out. Do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah, dragon footprints. Wow. Let's count how many there are. One, two, three. Three footprints. Hmm, let's look at our scroll. What does it say? <gasps> Follow the footprints to find where the baby dragon's lair is. Oh, <laughs> it must be that way. Let's go. <laughs> hey, there are more footprints. We must be getting closer. Whoa. 
Oh, I bet the baby dragon is in there. <gasps> Let's go for a swim and find our first baby dragon. Okay, ready? Splash! <laughs> okay, let's swim. <laughs> oh! Check it out! We found a baby dragon! <laughs> and it's blue, just like this ball pit. Awesome! We did it! Great job! Okay, baby dragon, let's go find your other friend. <laughs> This quest is getting so exciting. Let's keep finding baby dragons. Uh, hey, there's a dragon right there. No, but not the baby dragons we're looking for. But look at this. More cylinders. Ooh, this looks like a skyscraper. <laughs> Whoa. Peekaboo, I see you. Whoa, check this out over here. Blinds. Oh, and inner tubes too. Let's count the inner tubes. One, two, three. And they're so colorful. Do you know what these colors are? Yes, yellow and blue. <laughs> Whoa! And look! More dragon footprints! I wonder where they lead. I know! I'll get a tube and slide down. This is gonna be so fun! Here we go! Three, two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Hey, what's that? <gasps> Whoa! Uh -huh. I think we just found our next dragon. Hi, baby dragon. Look, we found the red dragon. Awesome job. Okay, let's go look for more of its friends. <gasps> Whoa, this room is so cool. Look, more dragon footprints. Yep, we must be headed in the right direction. Wow, check it out. Boxes. Hmm, I wonder if there are any dragons inside. <laughs> Let's count the boxes. One, two, three. Three boxes. <gasps> I know. Let's make a beat. Dragons, come out and play. We've been looking all day. Dragons, come out and play. Don't be afraid, it'll be okay. <laughs> Whoa, <gasps> let's head up this ramp. <laughs> wow, this whole room is purple. One of my favorite colors. <gasps> let's ask this dragon for help. Excuse me, have you seen any baby dragons? No, okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> Maybe they're over here. Let's search far and wide. Hmm, dragons? Nope, let's keep exploring. Ooh. Maybe over here. Hello, baby dragons, where are you? <laughs> Check it out, more footprints. Let's see where they lead. <gasps> hey, we found the purple dragon. <laughs> Three dragons found, one more to go. Whoa, an obstacle course. And it's in a forest. Let's pretend to be in a forest looking for our last dragon. Look, this is our first obstacle. Have to make it across the river. 
Okay, let's get in our boat. Whoa, we made it to land. And look, there's a big forest wall to get over. Whoa. Hmm, how do I get on top? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we made it. Oh, there's some more water waves though. <laughs> Let's fly down. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out, some vines. Let's take a swing on these vines. Oh, let's keep going. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa, check out these logs. Hmm, I wonder how we'll make it to the other side. Oh, I'll go under. I got it. Let's pretend to be squirrels in a forest. <laughs> Whoa, check out these rings. Woo <laughs> Whoa, this is a great forest adventure, friend. And look, I think I see dragon footprints ahead. Yeah, we found some more footprints. Okay, let's see if there's a dragon on the other side. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, another mountain. Let's give it a climb. Climb, 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 climb. <laughs> hey. <gasps> Check it out. We found our last dragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's check our scroll to make sure we have all four dragons. Let's see. Mm-hmm, we have blue, and purple, and red, and green. Great job, friends. We did it, we did it. We never, ever quit it. We did it. Great job. Sir Adam, we did it. We found all the baby dragons. Oh, wonderful. You have finally returned them and completed your magical quest, which has earned you the right to become a knight. Oh, whoa, did you hear that? We're knights now. <laughs> yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. It's time to celebrate. Woohoo! we did it. <laughs> Bye, Sir Adam. Bye, Knight Mika. Bye, baby dragon. <laughs> Wow, that was such a magical adventure. I had so much fun looking at those dragon footprints and finding all the colorful baby dragons. We played in a ball pit, went down a slide, and threw a night's nice obstacle course. <laughs> Great job. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E. -E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, Knights, see you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, this is gonna be really cool. This rocket right here, can you see it? It's called the Delta II. 
Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring, come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look, come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow, it's so, so big. This is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space. And it's called the Flight Deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. It's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow, hey, do you wanna get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station and the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Oh, I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh, whoa, okay, look at me, I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Woo, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend, it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, fit, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars. Whoa. Being 
being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun. <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here. Oh. a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa! There's more stars over there! Wow! Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing! Everyone hold on tight! Whoa. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey! Up here! <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, and now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast or really slow or really high or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle? Right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the Space Shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One. Two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa. I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. Whoa, look how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to the images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. 
they attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> it was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Come on, everyone. Let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about.